Hey, I say, Mario, stop hitting me with that hammer. Mario, I loaned you that hammer, I can take it back. Stop it now. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Color Flarty, and welcome back to Paper Mario! So, the last very boring episode, we talked a lot with the various people at the castle. Bowser basically killed us, but we survived, and we got a hammer. That's the abridged version. Watch the whole episode if you missed out on it. And in this episode, well, we'll find out what we're gonna do. Ooh! Mushrooms grow on trees, apparently. Restores 5 HP. You got an item! You'll use items in this game to attack enemies to recover your HP, heart points, and a few other things. Press right on the C buttons to see what items Mario has now. This is what I really like about this game that, for some reason, Thousand Year Door did not do. Shortcuts to your items menu. I mean, technically Thousand Year Door does have it, but it's a lot slower. Alright. So here is a silver block. We cannot break that, though. In fact, Mario kind of uh, fizzes out a little bit if you do that. We do want to come back later and do that, though. That's a heart block. If you hit this block, your HP heart points will fully recover. And they're free in this one. Trampoline. Oh wait, I want that. And fire flower. Fire that burns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power free. That'll come in handy. Heads up, Mario. I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Thanks, I knew that. First strike, yep, so... Now we damage him, and now we can kill him in one go without him even damaging us. So, different enemies give you different amounts of star points. Naturally, since Goombas are very weak enemies, they don't give you that much. And of course, I didn't get the first strike on this guy. This is a spiked Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Spiked Goombas are also more powerful than regular Goombas, so use your hammer on them. So you'll notice he'll deal two damage as opposed to just one. Regular Goombas deal one damage. You didn't get to see that in the last battle. Ooh, nice! He dropped a mushroom, that's rare. That's a Paragoomba. Darn it, didn't get the first strike on that one either. Listen up, Mario, the enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy and attack the one behind it, too. This is good advice, remember it. Yep. So if we want, we can jump on this guy. Man, I'm not doing too well. And But yeah, you'll see we can only hammer this guy. We want to kill them one at a time. We don't want to damage them all slowly, because the sooner we kill one, the sooner he won't be able to attack us. Fortunately, we get quite a few star points for that battle. I do recommend fighting every enemy you see, for the most part. You'll level up much faster that way. Goodbye, Goomba. <laughs> Mario's giving us the thumbs up to let him know he's okay. Some of the enemies are dropping flowers. That'll come in handy later. Those are FP points. And you got a star piece. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Basically, just collect them. There's a ton of them in the game. Like, I want to say close to 200. So, definitely collect them. They will come in handy later on. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. It's good thing that Mario is here, because I don't have to, I'm not able to use the hammer. No opposable thumbs. In fact, no hands at all. Oh, has that been locked? Let me open it up for you. I'm an excellent lockpick. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda were just playing gone. I have made sure to actually look out the window before just blindly opening the door and running out. Goompa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. 
Sorry, kids, I apologize. Didn't make to make you fret. Uh, you can take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Like how he looks sheepish. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey, that doll you've got! That's the one Goomberia lost! She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a bit. Aw, oh, that's just mean, Mario. <laughs> I guess you can just give it to back when you're done with it. I mean, it's a Princess Peach doll. So, like, I mean, like, it's a doll of my girlfriend. That's... Don't you agree that's a little weird, you know? You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? Do you ever try, like, pacifist moves, you know, like, talking it out? That seems like a little... Uh. <laughs> I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's, I'm starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Where? Like, where can a Goomba get muscles? Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now, Tiki. <laughs> when he does his headbot move, it really, really hurts. I'll be quiet, Goombaria, you're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa, we're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. You got the power jump edge! Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. So this is a badge. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to use a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here, and listen well, you'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'd better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson in how to use the badges to let you collect during your travels? Nah, I already know. You'd better listen, Mario. This is really important. It involves me telling you how to open your menu, go to the badges selection, and pressing A on the badge you want to equip. Alright, I trust you. Now remember, you need FP, flower points, to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? I know you can't actually see it, but uh, trust me, the person in front of the screen can. Well, these blocks will restore not only your HP, but also your FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the way, Mario, I heard from Goomba. You're taking it upon yourself to try to res rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. I didn't tell her that. Oh yeah, Mario can be Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. <laughs> Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. And don't worry about taking the hammer. I can just go to Home Depot and get another one. The years have started to weigh down on me, though, and I tell you this lower back pain. Do Goombas have backs? I thought they were, like, all face. Venture, you're so lucky! Princess rescuing is so cool! I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday! Me, too! Oh, here's an idea. Goombario, perhaps the timing is perfect. You're no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. Uh, thanks for consulting me on this first, dude. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? You should be asking me that. Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. I didn't say you could! Goombario, join your party, like it or not. Press down C to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that that's basically it. Goombario actually is one of my favorite partners in the game. You use him a lot. And I love the song. Goombario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. He's a tattletale. Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy champion, uh, co companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goompa get weepy. This is so cool, Mario! Let's go! But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Good thinking. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a Toad House, which as you probably know is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get Goom Nuts. He's a regular Toad. He was sent here from Princess Peach's castle. He's the manager of this Toad House. 
Toad House's slogan is, refresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired, a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a nap? Sure. I like how they're free in this. Did you sleep well? Take care now. You know I will. I need to not use my title ability all the time, though. Mom! I get to go with Mario! I promise when I come back, I'll breed home souvenirs. Oh, my little baby! I can't believe you're going out into the world with Mario. Now, you listen. You be a good boy, you hear? Don't cause Mario any trouble. I know, Mom. She shall be good. <laughs> Mario, you mind your mom. Wear a sweater when it's cold. Don't be picky about your food. Don't start fights. Be polite. Don't boast about all the things Goomba taught you as if you already knew them. And remember, and... Ugh, mom always nags me. Now hush, Mario. Take, please take good care of my sweet little Goombario. <sighs> yep. She's just doing the mom thing. Please take care of Goombario, okay? That dolly you're holding is mine! I know it! Give it back! Pretty please? No. You meanie Mario! Oh yeah, I should equip the badge. So, you'll see I have BP, and badges take a certain number of BP to equip. So, I can equip this badge, and now I only have two BP available. That's important to know. But the Power Jump badge is pretty cool, so I'll definitely be using that. But in all seriousness, I'll give her Bob Dolly back. Sure, it's kind of weird that you have a doll of my girlfriend, but okay. Oh, thanks, Mario. You're so sweet, even though you denied me my dolly that's legally mine twice. Here, you can have this. Isn't it pretty the way it glitters in the sun? You got the star piece. And take this, too. Mario's like, seriously? Not cool. <laughs> She's my sister, Goombaria. She's a spoiled girl, but still, everyone's nice to her. Why? <laughs> wow. She's my mom, Goomama. She's got. She gets sometimes gets on my nerves when she worries too much about me, but I love her to lots. Don't tell her I just said. Seriously, Mario, promise me. Goombario, you're literally standing right next to her. I'm sure she can hear every word you say. She's my grandma, Guma. She lives... I hope she lives forever. She's the greatest. When she starts telling old stories, she always says, When I was young, I was very popular with the boys. Interesting. Good health is all that matters. Stay healthy no matter what. Don't overwork yourself and take a rest when you're weary. What is this, Harvest Moon 64? He's my grandpa, Goompa. He knows oodles of stuff. There's a word you don't hear every day. Ever since I was a kid, he's been telling me fantastic stories of his youth. I'm sure. He has had a fantastic youth, I will say. Ah, uh, Goombario, I expect you'll become a fine, upstanding young Goomba by the time you return. Hey, can we fall at the veranda again? Danger! It's been sealed for your safety. <laughs> Also, if we hit this tree, we get a goom nut. Remember that. Dad, did you hear? I'm going out adventuring with Mario. I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. I know you'll be a great help. It's a good thing you've spent so much time training, huh? Now do your old goom papa proud. He's my dad, goom papa. He's willing to do anything for us. We can always count on him. Oh, that's nice. He doesn't really look like it, though. But did you see him fixing stuff after that earthquake? That's when I knew he was cool. <laughs> there you go. There we go! Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Words of wisdom. Good old Goomba Pa. Beware of Goombas. Thanks for that. <laughs> hey, I hit him in time. Come on. Hey, Mario! During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Yeah, so we can use Tattle on him. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what we they'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest of fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them! Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since they were in Super Mario Brothers. Apparently, he's got an NES. And now we can always see their HP meter, which is very nice, so tattle just about everything. If you don't want to tattle, that's fine, but you can get a badge later on in the game that shows all HP anyways. 
But tattling does count towards your percent, so I would recommend doing it. Also, there are some tattles that you can't get later in the game, so make sure you get them when you can. Yeah, you'll notice when I selected jump, I could have done regular jump or power jump. And also, this is what head bonk does. It's basically just jump. Yes, it's a jump or a power jump. By that, it takes 2 FP, and I don't have that much FP, and it's not worth doing it on a Goomba, especially when he has 1 HP. Aww. Head bonk. I hope you guys don't mind me showing all the battles. I know some people like to skip most of the battles when they let's play this, but I think it's important to show them off. Just so it's not like, whoa, how did Artie gain like three levels? He, I didn't see him do that. Plus great music, so why not? Ooh, free stuff. Oh, come on, Mario. Yeah! Also, Paragoombas are different from Goombas, so you need to tattle these guys. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can't hit them when they ha with the hammer when they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Oh, yeah? And goodbye. Alright. I like how they drop hearts. Oh no, darn it. This is a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads, no duh. Max AP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Oh, I actually didn't know you could get paralyzed from that. Goodbye. Also, you'll notice Goombario does not have his own HP bar. If Goombario takes damage at all, then he'll just be out for however many uh, turns that... He'll be out for a certain number of turns, and the number of turns he's out is equal to the number of damage he took. Same with all your partners that you get in the game. Did you know there are good Goombas and bad Goombas? A bad Goomba will try to pick a fight with us the second he spots us. And we get the Coast Call Badge. When Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. That's a good badge. Also, it only costs 1 MP. Or, pfft, 1 BP. Eat a mushroom to regain your daily energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with left C. Oh, and they gave us a free sample. And we can hit Paragoombas with the first strike. That's always amusing. Well, that's not good. I know it might be boring to some people when I tattle with Goombario, but the fact is, tattling on the enemies really will help- Yep! That's what Coast Call does. Lucky! So again, it won't- it will never work unless Mario's HP is 5 or less, but it, when it is 5 or less, it tends to work very frequently. As you can see. Da -da 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 -da. Lucky. Nine star points! Don't know what I was trying to go for there. Oh, yes, please. Look, Mario, there's a save block. Where? Might it be a good idea to save it, don't you think? Oh, it's past here. Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move. Aha! You're Mario! I knew it! You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from the Goomba King! That's right! I'm sorry, but the only way is through the Goomba Bros! That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba! Let's get him, Blue Goomba! Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother! Time for a mini-boss! 
We're gonna start with Blue Goomba. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. By that, he has one less HP. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Alright, title on the other one. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no prop. He just has a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Alright, time to use an item. I'm gonna show off the Fire Flower. Yeah, that's quite good. Goodbye, Blue Goomba. Blue, Blue Goomba! Where are my little brother? You'll pay for that, Mario! So if you don't know what you're doing, this can be a tough mini-boss. I'm gonna show off Power Jump. Free damage as opposed to one. And now we can finish him off. Twenty star points, oh yeah! Yeah, I'll let you go for now. <laughs> Look at those giant tears. So before we go forward, we're going to go back one screen so we can get that. Also, if we go down here, safe block. Now we go through here and... Oh, that's right, one more screen. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. And that one's sneaky. So we're gonna take one damage before fighting the boss of this area, but that's fine. The boss is a joke, especially if you know what to do. Do 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 do. Four star points. Like I said, do recommend fighting every enemy you see. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. If we go east a bit farther, we'll find a bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be a hop, skip, and a jump away from Toad Town. Ooh, it's the Goomba King's Fortress, which is the smallest fortress ever. It's exactly as big on the inside as it looks on the outside. King Goomba, help us! Mario, beat us up! <laughs> Actually, it's even smaller on the inside than it looks inside. <laughs> hey, look, Mario! See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. And this fortress wasn't here yesterday. Uh-oh, the ground's shaking. My feet are quaking. My stomach aching, my brain was breaking! So, Mario, it's true, you've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful Goomba King, can will see it to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther, not one step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet your wrath, Mario. You better be. Oh, yeah. Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up like two seconds ago. Alright, so the thing for this battle, the very first thing you want to do, hammer the Goomnut tree. So it defaults to Goomba King, move left one, and... Bloop, bloop, and they die instantly. And now I'm going to tattle on the Goomba King. 
This is the Goomba Kane. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He's the boss of the red and blue Goombas. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger, too. You don't want to be that big. That's just, like, disturbingly big. And now he's going to drop the coconuts on us, but that's okay. Eat some power jump. Ooh, ouch. If you had head bonked on me, that would have hurt a lot more. And yeah, goodbye, Goomba King. 30 star points, and that gives us a level up. So, we can either level up HP, FP, or BP. We don't have even that many badges, so I'm not going to do BP. I like having the same amount of FP and HP, so I'm going to upgrade FP. What? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it! Cool! Victory! So, hit this tree, get in a star piece. I think there was a bridge between Toad Town and Goomba Village. If we oh, that's right. I forgot we had already done that. Oh, oh, this is great. Psst, Red Goomba, you're positive you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba! I hid in the grass outside the fortress. OUTSIDE THE- YOU IDIOT! D didn't hide it here? Mario will find it for sure! Oh, do you think? You know, you might be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to- uh, it's too late for that, man. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I, I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You ALREADY PRESSED IT?! <laughs> no! And... Top falls off like it's made of paper. The windows literally are just cardboard cutouts. Folds down like paper. And that's the bridge. See what I mean when I said the fortress is even smaller on the inside than it looks? And King Goomba falls into the distance of this never seen again. And apparently red and blue Goomba vaporized. Look! The bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey! Alright! Now, before going to the next area, there's a couple things you should probably do in this area. For example, you see there are fences in there. Well, if we spin around here, we can get ourselves a Super Shroom, which restores 10 HP instead of 5. And at this point in the game, that's all the HP we have. Uh-oh. Kami Koopa's theme is underrated. Yeah, I'm gonna save and continue. We're at a great part. We get introduced to, like, my favorite Mario enemies ever right now. Besides, you know, like, Bowser. <laughs> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report, your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was the Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me! And now Mario whip him so easily? What a whip! Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness, try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you're definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kemi Koopa, those Star Spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the Star Spirits. Hmm... Who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? That's that one at King Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? 
King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! Best music in the game. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. They are. Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh! That, this is, oh! How'd you like it, Kid Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed, either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? Uh, uh nobody, sir. You know, we're here and- YOU IDIOTS! USE YOUR HEADS! GET BACK TO THE FORTRESS AND GUARD THAT STAR SPIRIT! <laughs> oh, Bowser. You always have the most incompetent fools. Ah, the outskirts of Toad Town. To the east is Toad Town. If we go west, we'll reach my hometown, Goomba Village. I should probably stop tattling in every single screen. That'll get boring very fast if it hasn't already. Hit that, we get a sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. That has its uses. Hit that tree, trampoline, get up here. Treasure chest with... The Hammer Throw Badge! Hits one enemy with the hammer, no matter where the enemy is. That's very useful in certain parts of the game, so I'll have to remember that. But it takes 2 VP to equip, and I only have one available. And I don't want to unequip one of my other badges. Mario! I'm so glad you're okay! The town is in an uproar! The princess kidnapped! The very castle uprooted! It's Bedlam! I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness! But before I go any further, we're gonna go back to Mario's house. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Okay, Mario definitely has ESP. Whoa, Mario, it's you! Good to see you! And you're alright! After that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. That makes sense, because he was right next to the door in the castle. Oh, and you are... I'm Kubario! Nice to meet you! I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? Luigi, I really want you as my partner. Seriously, having like another Mario as your partner would be amazing. Also, what do you mean you can't leave the house, but like, like alone? Like, I mean, you do that in Paper Mario too. Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. He's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. <laughs> It's your house! Cool! Nice landscaping! I don't like my house, but yours is even nicer. Did you do the decorating yourself? Aw, oh, no mail. Also, notice all the warp pipes back here. They are plumbers, after all. Alright, so if we look here, this is kind of a list of all our progress. So we've got coins earned, badges collected, star pieces collected, number of battles, first strikes, number uh, enemies, first strikes, also, I'm not sure why, but uh, tattling, the number of tattles isn't shown. We also have number of recipes and then maximum power bounces. We'll get more into those later. Here's the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Oh, it is? And we can also sleep in our bed if we want, but we're already at full HP and FP, so why would we? Bye, Luigi. I'll try to stop in occasionally. I still want to have a Paper Luigi game, though. Alright, so this is Rusty's house. 
Oh, salutations! You're Master Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise Toad Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle has flown away! Up into the sky! No castle! Horrors! Only a hole remains! Our beloved castle! Where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! Uh, I'm, I don't think I will. So this is the shop. We can buy stuff here, but I'm not going to for a while. So we got mushrooms, honey syrup, 5 FP. Pow block, 2 damage on all enemies on the ground. Sleepy sheep. Fright Jar can scare enemies away, but if you scare enemies away, you don't get star points, so that's kind of lame. A castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, and yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. I can't tell if that's like the most adorable thing ever, or if I should be very concerned about society. Hey man, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna break into your house. Oh hey, is, uh, I'm sorry, am I intruding on anything? The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I'd just like to forget it ever happened. Oh, busy busy, the room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. Uh oh. Well, you only have one room, so that helps. Where are the beds? My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because Dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But Mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? I don't know, man. Leave the world to the great. Leave the saving the world to the grade schoolers. I mean, seriously. Oh, it's the Toad Sisters. But I really need to find a safe point because my voice is giving out. Ooh, but first. Star piece. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed the rain would, and blah 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 blah. Translation: blah blah blah. Not being able to blah blah blah. Toad Town News Flash: Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Toad Town Underground News. I'm scribbling on the back of the notice board. How naughty. I heard Mario is defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip-loving Toad. Merlin is out! Alright. Well, here's the save point. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, I hope you're enjoying the Paper Mario series so far, tune in for the next episode where we will finally go to Shooting Star Summit and we'll get an item that will make the battles a lot more interesting. Have a great day and God bless!